Hey everybody, you're watching Culture Shock, the only show on the internet that knows how to separate an issue of politics from an issue of culture. And lo and behold, I have my hands in my pockets this time to stop me from fidgeting, which I do. It's a bad habit. And this is a really old worn out shirt. <laughs> anyway. So, an expansion on October 21st's uh, video on the Trump administration signing legislation concerning transgender rights and the definition of gender and sex and all that. Uh, now, see, here's the thing. I've recently discovered an article... There's already some backlash, and it's rather interesting. This article is amazingly deceptive, to the point of being criminal. It says, it's on uh, Psychology Today, www.psychologytoday.com. It says, Trump's administration's definition of gender is not science. There's no scientific definition of gender. Well, yeah, that's because it's gender is a uh, cultural term, not a scientific term. So, uh, <clears throat> here's how it's deceptive. Basically, it just confuses the issue of chromosomes and genitalia without giving any concrete reason why transgenderism is okay. It, this article is designed sim to simply confuse. On Sunday, the New York Times reported that the Trump administration plans to define gender based on people's external genitalia as part of their large larger efforts to roll back protections for transgender Americans. They say they plan to implement a definition of gender grounded in science as a physician who studies gender. I can tell you this is ludicrous. There is no scientific definition of gender. You are not a scientist. You are either a shill or just someone with an agenda to serve. <clears throat> in fact, this is the part of the article that probably disturbs me the most. It says, um, the Trump administration says they will use genetics to determine a person's gender when the anatomy is not clear. They are likely gen unlikely under the wrong impression that all people have XY or XX chromosomes or that people's chromosomes invariably define their gender. What will they do with the people who have chromosomal uh, mo mosaicism? I'm not sure what the uh, mosaicism. Let me just look that up really quick. Mosaicism. The property or state of being composed of cells of two genetically different types. Uh, okay. A condition in which some of the cells have XY chromosomes and others have XX chromosomes. Now, I don't even know if that's a thing, but I don't know it's not a thing either. People with another condition called complete andro and androgen, complete androgen insensitivity syndrome, have XY chromosomes but lack receptors that respond to testosterone. Also don't know if that's a thing. Could be, maybe not. They have breasts and vaginas and almost, and almost always identify as women. Does the administration plan on telling them that they're actually, in fact, men? See, here's the problem with this guy's doing in this article, is he's basically, um... just <laughs> deliberately confusing everything, making everything complicated, appear complicated, and over-complicating everything, so that the possibility of transgenderism being legitimate remains open. You know, he's deliberately confusing to get allies for the notion, right? It's just being dishonest. It's, it's extremely manipulative. It's like, dude, if this guy like went to court over something, he I could totally see him like going to jail for perjury. Absolutely I could. <clears throat> Let's see. Another part of this article I find a bit disturbing. As it claims that medicine has a dark history trying to force people into gender identities they don't fit. The most famous case is that of David Raymer, a person whose penis was mutilated during a uh, botched circumcision. Doctors tried to force a female gender identity on David by surgically creating a vagina and telling his parents to raise him as a girl. Now, I've heard stories like that before, and a lot of them were fake. So, there's a good chance that that one is as well. They were certain he would identify as female. Dave Raymer suffered from horrible gender dysphoria, later identified as male, and killed himself with a sawed-off shotgun at age 38. 
Doctors don't recognize that physical characteristics alone do not determine gender identity. These things like anatomy and chromosomes just don't cut it. The only to know someone's gender is to ask them. Yes, yes. Uh, appeal to people's feels, because that always works, right? The article appeals to your feelings and ignores the facts. As Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. And if the chromosomal thing that he's talking about is true, then all that proves is that DNA is com complicated, that chromosomes are complicated, and that is not an actual reason to think that transgenderism is anyway legitimate. It just proves that things are complicated, as if we needed a uh, quote psychologist to explain that to us. The fact that things are complicated is quite easy to comprehend and obvious. He goes on to say, one also needs to ask why this policy is needed as Dr. Yi Ming Chen, director of the Disorders of Sexual Development Program at Boston Children's Hospital, asks, what good could possibly come from this given that the Trump administration has a history of promoting discrimination against transgender people? Uh, hmm. Efforts to ban them from the military, making them use bathrooms that do not correspond with their gender identity? Oh no! It seems clear that this is just another attempt to attack the transgender community. Again, appealing to people's feels. Uh, this guy. This guy. Let's see if I can get his name here. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Jack Turbin, MD, MHS. Yeah, this guy is obviously doing a little political engineering to get people on his side. This article is extremely deceptive. You can read it yourself if you want to, you know, find out for yourself. I got it right here. Well, you can't see, but I can. It's, uh, you can find it. It's on w.psychologytoday.com. It's under the title, Trump's Administration, Definite of Gender is Not Science. You can probably Google that. And you can see the, uh, the clear deception for yourself if you, don't, if you just don't want to take my word for it. Because I don't know how to put a link in the description. I thought I'm just lazy. <laughs> but yes, uh, it's just a very deceptive article designed to confuse and, and cause a gulf so people will either, you know, hopefully side against Trump, at least that's what, it, what he's hoping to, to confuse the issue. Because, like I said, he's not... What clearly shows it is deceptive is that he's not giving a concrete reason why transgenderism is okay. He's not. He's failing to deliver on that premise. Anyway. Shoes.